What is going on everyone? It is Mark here with another video and I just realized I have a black sweater, the couch is black, and I have a black table. <sighs> wow. I should probably dress more colorful. Okay, so today we are going to be kind of exploring the realm, kind of a known realm. We all use them every day, I guess, technically, depending. Maybe use a trackpad. We're kind of exploring the world of computer mice. So what mouse do I have now? Logitech's MX Master, the first series, the one with a lot of disconnectivity issues. But they have come out with new mice. The One of them came out recently, the other one came out a while ago, but I figured I'd, I'd hit two birds with one stone. Stone being the video. So in front of me today, I have two mice from Logitech. The first one, of course, is the MX Master S2, which is a mouse that we've learned to love on steroids. And the second one is the MX Ergo Plus. A lot of people probably will benefit from the ergonomic features. This is the roller ball kind of situation. I personally am not a world's biggest fan of these. I find that the precision is not as good, but I have heard fantastic, 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 fantastic things about the precision on this one. Apparently it's like, woo, out of this world. So I, I will be checking this one out as well. Um, but, but basically, yeah. So these are kind of um, the top two Predators in the in the mouse world. Get it? Mice, predators. Let's concentrate with the MX Master S2 first. Let's take a look at the box. So in the front, of course, you have the picture of the MX Master. What you'll notice is that it looks extremely familiar to the, the original MX Master. Similar to the MX Master, you have the openable box where you actually get to see the actual device itself. But basically, inside this box, we have a little bit of literature about its software. So Logitech's options, customize with Logitech options, unlock a full range of new possibilities, install Logitech option on the most complete MX Master S2 experience. So if you don't install that software, you have a great mouse, but you don't get the benefit of all the cool little buttons and features that it does have. Okay, let's take this thing out of the box. Of course, I need a Kniffy. Go big or go home, am I right? So of course in the box you have the, the mouse itself. You know, it looks exactly the same, but it feels much different. The USB little little adapter there if you don't want to go Bluetooth. Micro USB cable to charge everything up. Um, and some more literature talking about the mouse. So that's the MX Master S2. Very familiar feeling mouse, very familiar looking mouse. There's a few differences that we will touch on in a second once I get this bad boy open. Now let's open up the MX Ergo Plus. So this one does not have the, the full flappable screen. The biggest feature I think that they want you to understand is how well it adjusts to your personal hand. So not only are you getting the ergonomics of not moving your wrist with that ball, simply using your thumb, but it also adjusts the angle of the actual mouse from zero to 30 degrees, which is insane. So that's a huge, huge tilt ability. This one comes with a little bit more stuff. Wow, that mouse is significantly larger than the MX Master. Again, a USB adapter. And what do we have in this little box here? Sure, micro USB to charge everything up and the step. Increase that tilt to that full 30 degrees. Okay, perfect. We'll take a look at that in a sec. Okay, so both mice are out of the box. And uh, looking at them, you can tell one is significantly larger than the other. So where the Logitech Master, of course, is a movable mouse where you need to have good position over the entire thing, where this one's designed for the rest and the ergonomic aspect of, of your hand at rest. Does that make any sense? Probably not. I'm not a, I'm not a physiotherapist or a kinesiologist or an ergonometrist or a... Why don't we go ahead and dive into the features of the MX Master first. So, of course, we are very familiar with this mouse. This is a very popular mouse. What makes it so fantastic is one, the ergonomics. It's a very comfortable, comfortable, comfortable mouse. The perfect position of your hand. I love it. And the tactile feedback from this mouse is very satisfying, very good, very rapid, very responsive. And of course, the secret buttons that are what make this mouse so productive. This mouse is designed exactly for that, productivity. Of course, you have your right click, your left click, and the, and the scroll wheel. However, this scroll wheel, once you turn it on, has a few settings. A lot of people like the fact that you can do this infinity scroll where it keeps on scrolling and scrolling, where you have a big kind of web page open, or you have a huge massive Excel file open, or you're kind of just browsing the web very quickly. However, if you click this little button right above that scroll wheel, you get a very clicky and tactile feedback where it's click to click basis. You can even hear that, you hear that? 
That's very satisfying. Another great feature about this mouse here is the thumb button. This thumb button, as default, kind of uses as your kind of mission control, where that pops up all of your applications into one window, kind of similar to doing one of these on your trackpad. This button is extremely versatile. I love it. This is also, I'm a, I'm a Mac user. One thing I really like about this button is that it kind of helps you swap through full screen applications. So when I have a full screen, let's say Chrome window up and I wanna switch over to Final Cut, all I do is hit that thumb button and swipe to the right or left accordingly to where that application is in my queue and, and, I, and I switch kind of seamlessly without doing anything. It's just automatic. I'm a huge, huge fan of this mouse. So what are the kind of differences between this mouse here, the second series, and the original MX Master? Actually, let me go, let me go get mine. And, and I'll give you, yeah. I got my MX Master, this is the first series, I use this on a daily basis. So putting it side to side, very, very similar looking. The color, of course, is different. The, the, the texture of the mouse, in my opinion, maybe mine is just worn, but it feels very good on the new MX Master. Um, the clicking, a very good satisfying click on both of these mice. One thing you will also notice is between the release of the MX Master first one and the second one, Logitech has gone through the transition into their new kind of more basic minimalistic logo. So you'll see instead of saying Logitech with their logo, it'll just say Logi. Another great feature about these mice is that you can switch between three different devices. This can be a Windows, a PC. It doesn't make a difference to the device. You have three options, one, two, and three. And of course, you can assign those to according devices. Um, but yeah, and it's very seamless to kind of switch through. All you do is kind of press this button and it switches between the devices, which is awesome for me because sometimes I, I do use two different computers. I do have the main editing downstairs and then upstairs I do have my older computer, which, which you know, is number two. So I can just easily take my mouse with me, hit number two, and I got the full capability of the mouse with me wherever kind of I go with whichever device I take. It's a great, great feature. Okay, so you have the thumb button, you have the great scroll wheel, you have the very tactile feedback of your right click and left click, but you also have the back and forward buttons right above your thumb, which are great. As a default, kind of in your browser, you can use them to go forward and back between whatever pages you're surfing. And the side wheel is fantastic, which is just located right beside the forward and back button. It allows you to kind of scroll sideways. This is very beneficial for me, at least, as a Final Cut user. I can see between my timeline, I can pan, I can zoom in, it's fantastic. My hand does not move from this mouse is what I'm trying to get to. It's a huge, huge improvement from, from a lot of the older mice I used to. So the biggest kind of difference between switching from the first series and the second series MX Master mouse is the connectivity issue. Connectivity? Connectivity. Connectivity? Am I saying that right? The MX Master first series kind of struggled sometimes with connecting to your device. Sometimes the connection would drop, sometimes it wouldn't want to connect at all, but they have resolved this with the Series 2. There is no connectivity issues, it seamlessly goes between devices, it doesn't forget, it's a great mouse. Okay, so that's the MX Master. Now, the MX Ergo. This is a significantly larger mouse, it's meant for your hand to rest. So basically, this stays on your desk and, and your hand stays where it is. You no longer need to use your wrist to move the mouse. It all comes from the roll of the ball. And this is fantastic for people who have carpal tunnel or who are developing carpal tunnel or who are scared of developing carpal tunnel. It takes away from all the strain of your wrist. Plus, of course, the buttons, the buttons, the buttons, the buttons. That is the most important part of a mouse. As you can hear, very tactile kind of feedback from your right click and left click, which is fantastic. And you'll also notice this great scroll wheel. This one, however, does not have the option between the infinity scroll and the tactile click scroll. You default with the click scroll. One button you are going to live without is the side scroll wheel. However, the scroll wheel here does have a left and right feature, so you could use that to your benefit as well. And instead of three devices, you can connect two devices with this simply by clicking the top button right there, and you have your forward and back buttons also. So the biggest feature about this one is how customizable it is for you as a user. So as you notice right now, it is at zero degrees. My hand rests there fairly comfortably. However, if I need to change the position of my wrist, so twisting my, my wrist depending on how you're 
how your bone structure is and how your wrist sits. You can very simply press down and now you are at 20 degrees. And your palm just kind of rests gently on the mouse. The usability doesn't change at all, but it's just a little bit more comfortable for some people. And if you want to go to that 30 degrees, you are included this little step for your device. It is a magnetic attachment and now you're at 30 degrees. One thing I was very concerned about with this mouse is does it stay put on your desk? You don't want a mouse that is designed to be stationary to kind of just slide all over the place. The resistance on the base of both this additional 10 degree platform and the mouse itself, very good. There is, I'm putting up quite a bit of pressure here and it's not going anywhere, which is fantastic. Now the last concern I did have about this mouse was the precision of the actual ball. It is amazing. It is just as precise as the other mice, if not more precise. I don't know, I just felt like I was very, very precise with my motions of my thumb. Everything kind of worked very, very well. You do lose some of the features with this mouse. Maybe I just don't know how to use them, but switching between full screen application did pose a little bit of a struggle for me. The way I got around it was the trackpad on my laptop. I kind of took my hand off and, and used my left hand to swipe between full screen applications. That being said, maybe I just don't know how to use this mouse fully yet. These, in my opinion, are some of the best mouse in the entire kind of realm of of technology. I, I think that these really do add that extra little bit to your production level, productivity level, comfort. I know they are a little bit on the pricey side, but you do get what you pay for at the end of the day with these mice. You pay a little bit more, you get a little bit more. Let me know what you guys think about both of these mice. If you like this video, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below for additional brownie points. Of course, please follow me on all my social media. Links can be found down in the description. But for now, thank you, and I will see you on the next one.